Hello friend. In the second part of the multi threading, we are going to discuss about the life cycle of a thread with method in a thread class. So for managing thread in a Java, we have many static and instance method in the thread class. We can use this method for creating a starting, pausing and stopping thread. We have uh, some static method like active count, current thread, dump stack, interrupted, slip, yield and some instance method is also we have like start, get id, get name, get priority, interrupt, is interrupted, is alive, join, to stream. This is not the complete list and we will not even cover all of the above. There are other methods but we don't really need them unless we build some we build some tiny multi-threading framework ourselves. So here in this video we will discuss the method related to the life cycle of thread in Java like start method and slip. So we will also discuss some of the state in the thread life cycle. So for the first step is to create an instance of a thread. So in the part two, let me show you. So this one here, you will see created one uh, class greater and extend the thread class, then override the run method and I write my logic here then in the line number 18 if I will comment this and in the line number 18 you will see here uh, we have created a thread instance named as a greater thread and we have overridden the run method also that performed the actual task but nothing is happened yet at this stage all we have got is a plain old java object of type thread it is not yet a thread of execution a thread of execution means it has it on execution context like call stack variable stack state pc register and etc so it is not considered alive yet at this stage the thread is said to be a new state in order to make the thread alive we have to invoke a start method so let me comment this so now once the start method is invoked the thread is considered alive the method is alive comes in handy to check whether the thread is alive or not and in this at this point the run method may not have actually started executing yet but the thread is considered alive so this part of threads life cycle is called runnable so you will see what does it exactly mean when we say a thread is in runnable state well it is executing in JVM but it may be waiting for other resources from the operating system such as the cpu core in which case run method execution is delayed till the processor is available for this thread what if a cpu core is available and thread run method is now executing well we still say that the thread is in runnable state in few book it is mentioned that the thread going into running state but one thing you should have to remember that there is no such state as a running in java all states that we specify you can see in the thread class if i will open the thread class and search for the state search for the enum state enum state so here you will see that there is no any running state right if you are able to see 
you can see here so after the new there is a runnable state but what next after the runnable so a thread goes into one of the four state from the runnable it will go into the blocked then waiting then time waiting and at the last terminated we will look at the block and waiting in the latter part but we will now cover the time waiting and terminated it we will discuss it but for the blocked and the waiting we will see in the latter so when we call the slip method in the current running thread the thread goes into the timed waiting state the state named time waiting makes sense right because we are specifying the amount of time that the thread should go to the slip when the time expire the thread will eventually come back to the runnable state and continue from where it left off and more on this we will discuss in the latter part but for now you can you should have to remember that slip method is a static method and should always be called in a running thread and when we call the slip method it will move our thread into timed waiting state the next is dead stage that happened after the successful or abnormal completion of the run method then the thread is considered to be or uh, terminated again the method is alive method comes in a handy to check whether the thread is alive or not so here is the simple thread life cycle we will cover weighted and blocked state in a later part so the summary of this video is creating an instance of the type thread just create a java thread but it is not yet the thread of execution the thread of execution means the thread has it on execution context like call stack local variable stack state and etc when a thread is created it is said to be in new state upon calling start method on the thread object the thread of execution is created and the thread is said to be in runnable state then calling the start method does not necessarily means the thread run method is executing run method execution may be deferred and when the thread is in runnable state we can call slip method which put the thread into timed waiting state when the time expire the thread eventually come back in runnable state and continue from where it left off upon the successful or abnormal completion of run method the thread goes into the terminated state so this is it for the part 2 we will see in the next section thank you